keep saying I'm going to take the class down the street. I talk to the lady, the teacher. She say I can be ready for the test in like a month. Man, if I did that, I could go to community college, get a real job. Something better than working at the chicken shack. I hate that place. Got me walking around here smelling like old grease and french fries all day. <laughs> I need to pay the bills and all that. Sometimes I just get tired of being nothing. Nobody. And your fledgling from last term, and the one who I'm quite certain that you're diligently training this year, what of them, Ashram? Will they survive it well with their excellent educations, their magnificent incomes, their yachts, their mansions, and their status? All of which I'm sure they would never risk by ever divulging anything about this place or what truly goes on here. The knights, of course, knew that would happen. They set their birds up on the very best of golden cages, knowing they try to forget and surely never speak of what that cage was like when they were fledglings in this place. I don't want to do this anymore. You speak cerebrally, not emotionally. But eventually, it's emotionally that we have to come to terms with this place and our culpability in its continuation. Don't you see? These last two years where we prepare the fledglings is the final step in making us feel far less like victims and much more like accomplices. How do you sleep, Atram? At night? When it's quiet? and you're alone with your thoughts. How well do you sleep then? Are you deaf or something? Training is all about theory, but theory is different from practice. There's no flesh and blood in theory. No impish smile, no gleeful giggle at the most mundane of things, no looks of awe and wonder at the sheer majesty of this place, no asking you questions and hanging on to every word of your answer as though it were the gospel and most damning of all, there's no conscious knowledge of just how much he trusts you. I heard of some two girls up in college. Uh, my homeboy Dino went to uh, one of those college tours. He said the honeys look good and they smart, talking about reading and poetry and complicated stuff. <laughs> I need one like that. One with something more to talk about than just struggling from day to day. Girls around here are always tired. I'm tired of being tired. And I'm tired of talking about struggling. Truthfully, I just want to. So, maybe on Monday I'll go down and sign up for the class. Maybe. <coughs> so,